so hi everyone. I'd actually like to dedicate this before I start to my grandfather who died um, five years ago today. So this is in his memory. Um, yeah. <laughs> so basically, my life is figure skating. As it says up there, I've been skating for 0.707 years, which you might not think is a lot, but I'm only 22 years old, so it's actually a pretty good percentage. And I've been coaching figure skating for the last four years and skating for like the last 18. So I've also been skating with a lot of cool people, like Rachel Flatt, who is the US national champion, and Susha Makarova, who is the Russian national champion. Both of them got to go to the Olympics in Vancouver, so pretty cool. And I also have taken lessons with Kathy and Chris Reed, who are the Japanese ice dance champions, lots of ice dance champions, lots of skating champions. Um, but they are amazing, and it's always so awesome to be able to interact with Olympic level skaters. So I feel very privileged to have been able to work with them. OK. So the whole title is about skating movies, and these are the skating movies. These are the terrible skating movies. <laughs> so if you want to pick one, see the first one. If you want to pick two, see the third one. The other two are terrible. OK, more terrible skating movies. On Edge is a mockumentary totally worth seeing, completely ridiculous. Ice Castle is worth seeing because it tries to be serious, completely ridiculous. So, yeah. And, okay, this is my life. I was a physics major at Vassar, and for my senior projects, I did physics on ice. Woo! Made a DVD. And then Disney had the same idea. I mean, what's up with that? But mine is a lot better, and so I'll probably try to post it somewhere. So, yeah. Okay, when you think of skating, you think of jumping, right? So we do singles all the way through quadruples, mostly if you're a guy, sometimes if you're a girl. Pretty cool. Um, and yes, wallies are really ancient, invented back in Lake Placid, like in New York where I was skating. Um, okay, so we come down after our jumps pretty hard. 750 pounds of force coming down. And what a little steel blade to land on. So we fall on our asses a lot, and you get used to it eventually. It's a lot of fun, right? Padding was invented for a reason. And the other way to get up is lifts. So there's pairs lifts and dance lifts. Dance lifts, you're like, can't go above the shoulders. Pairs lifts, they're all the way up there. Of course, the dance lift, she's stepping on his leg, so I'm not sure that's actually safer, you know? Not really sure. Um, yeah, and when you're skating together, lots of things can happen. You can trip each other, you can hit each other. She actually got beamed in the head with a skate during side-by-side -side spins. Yeah, painful. I've had a blade in my leg, not fun. Um, but you can survive these. These are not so good. These are where people drop people from the lifts. These are where you're doing rotational lifts and you fling your partner across the ice. You probably end your career. You end up in the hospital, hopefully you can walk. You know, so skating, pretty dangerous. Pair skating, really dangerous. And then the other side to skating is you can be the most amazing practice skater ever, and you get out there and there are video cameras, there's an audience, and you're like, oh my god, I can't skate. I can't take off. So you have to sort of get past that mental block, performance under pressure. When people are expecting you to be the Olympic champion, you have to be it. So you reach the top. And this can be like a little kid in their basic skills, and they suddenly, they got through their program, that's reaching the top. Or you could be the Olympic skating champion, like Evan Lysacek, who is on Dancing with the Stars. Yay! <laughs> and then we have, yes, awesome, Bond girl. Okay, so we have our artistic expression while skating, Johnny Weir, the epitome of artistic expression. I love him. Um, so we want to express ourselves while we're skating, right? And all these little kids all around the country are looking at these people and they're like, I want to do that. So I teach at the YMCA in Lafayette, and I have all these cute little kids coming in, and they're like, we want to learn to skate. So basic skills, really important. Exhibitions, ice shows, and these are all actually my students. Um, they're from New York, where I was teaching at the Civic Center. Woo! Um, on the left, Gene is actually, I've taught him basically from axle to double axle, and he's doing triples now. So our goal is for him to be novice champion. Um, here is just, let's see, what is, this? okay. Um, we work for perfection, right? So we're out there like every day of the week. I'm on the ice every day of the week. And I'm working for that one perfect moment where like the edge doesn't slip out. And it's like amazing. And so you're going through mental, physical, lots of off ice training, lots of things that, you know, don't necessarily affect your skating outwardly, but you're learning sort of to get past them through the confidence you learn through skating, the kids, all the way up to the Olympic skaters, that confidence is essential. 
So I just wanted to thank, on this huge slide, everybody who has basically ever helped me in the skating community, and then also all the amazing photographers who I stole their pictures, because, you know, that's good. Um, and thanks to all of you for listening to a little bit about skating.